Good evening. It's a good evening here in Maryland. The Terrapins come back after being down 17 to take it over Minnesota in overtime, thanks to a mixed extra point. Bruce, this was an amazing comeback, especially after last week. What do you make of this? It was an amazing game. And uh, looking back at last week, I think we all kind of agreed that if you kept to, uh, Talia under control, that things would work out because that first drive was good. And he did his homework. He didn't make mistakes. He was 26 for 35 for 394 yards. Ladies and gentlemen, since the days of uh, – we'll give Danny O'Brien a little break here. I won't go back to Scott McBride. It's the first real quarterback Maryland has had. This is the result. Maryland can stay on the field with anybody. All right, all of a sudden the season's not looking so glim, so glum. And Jay Funk, can you imagine that? You know, 216 yards on 21 carries. Could not have happened to a nicer guy. He is a true Terrapin. Uh, the two ACL injuries, he comes all the way back to being a star running back. Uh, just before we got off of the of what Leah did, his quarterback rating is 191.4 for this game. <laughs> Not too shabby. Uh, you really have to hand it to the defense who finally showed up after getting shredded. Maryland gives up 31 points in a row. It looks like it's over. And then the defense somehow uh, presses up. You saw Chance Campbell start making plays that is going to make you uh, an all-time great if you can do that for a while. He looked like a – made some Lawrence Taylor plays in there, Bruce. He chased the guy down. Ibrahim, who went to good counsel uh, in Olney, really had it going. Until they really – until Minnesota really needed him over the past few drives, Maryland stuns Minnesota. The, the, I haven't seen a game like this since Maryland-Miami. And that was a long time ago. Maryland finally lost the last 71 times. They've been down by 17 points in the fourth quarter. Finally has a comeback win. Loxley, he's got, redemption. Be, he's got to be sitting on top of the world. And you know what? I had three phone calls, one from you and a couple from my sponsors who are good friends, questioning why he didn't you know, call that timeout. And I told you I agreed with it. Because the momentum was on our side, the edge was on our side in overtime, and the kicking was our advantage in overtime. And sure enough, it was the kicker who blew it, and there was no reason for him to miss it except that he has some kind of hernia. And uh, obviously it affected him. He missed it, and Maryland wins. I don't care how they win, all right, 45-44. Uh, the receiving, you know, Jared came out, and Jared had a great game. Six catches, 68 yards. Jason Jones, three catches, 103. A couple penalties that he's going to have to go to school on without question. And Dante Demas, I thought, was the receiver star of the game. Seven catches, 101 yards. And what do you say, Wayne? They won. They won a game that nobody thought they could win and one that we weren't there for, okay? And one that I taped my show today for, all right? That's why I wanted this podcast up, and uh, it was just special. I don't know what else to say. And what in the forget you and me. The saddest thing is that the place wasn't filled with Maryland fans because it would have been a party like you never saw tonight. Had the okay, I, I, I take the bait on that one. The fans that would have stayed around after halftime when Maryland given up thirty-one points in a row. However, it happened. I will take it. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a short uh, video cast uh, taking the place of us being on the field in Maryland Stadium. But, man, it feels so nice to win. I was a little down on the program last week on the Maryland football program. The defense hadn't stopped anybody for about. Uh, let's see, 60, 115 minutes 
of football, and then the last five minutes they turn the tide. I have to give props to a freshman, Tarheeb Still, who was on uh, Minnesota's number one receiver. He actually came up as a freshman corner, made some plays, made some tackles on Ibrahim. Uh, Chance Campbell had the game of his life, and man, can that uh, linebacker, Gote, he can hit some people. They got I, it done. I, they I don't know what to say. I mean, obviously the defense leaves a lot to be desired, but uh, the offense, it could not have been any better. You forget, Penny Boone fumbled in the end zone. That's another seven points. We had a field goal hit the goalpost. All right, and this game turned on the interception, the only ill-advised play by Talia tonight. We'll give him that one because he was miraculous. And after sitting through year after year after year, game after game after game with no quarterback, I got to tell you something. I don't care if I was home. I haven't enjoyed a Maryland football game like that in a long, long time. Even the few that we stuck out one here and there, it wasn't like this. It wasn't an offensive comeback, an offensive explosion. This was special. Hats off to Loxley. Hats off to the entire team. But most of all, Talia, wow, you saw his brother's genes tonight. It's no accident. You know, uh, the apple never fall, falls far from the tree. And he was just special. He gave a great post-game interview. And how do you describe it, Wayne? I have the feeling that we have right now. This is this is like we I feel like we won the national title. All right. Hope. Hope springs eternal. Once again, the Terrapins have football hope. 45, 44 winners. Um, I got so carried away that Mason said I was being too loud. So with that, uh we'll call it a night. Thank you, Rick Chapish and Meyer Consulting. Uh, for their sponsorship as well. And Rick, of course, says Rick is, he's probably so upset he's not here. You know what I mean? He's away right now. But uh, he would be flipping out as we all are. And uh, Jake Funk, I tell you, one guy who would be losing his mind tonight, and that's my friend Bobby Pinkner, who passed away. Because he might have been involved with the uh, scholarship program with Jake. I don't know. But Jake Funk was just unbelievable Wayne how do you describe that performance I you can't beat unbelievable uh, and so the line, some props because the right side of that line opened up hole after hole for him and when he turned that corner whoever the right tackle the right guard were he had clear sailing and yeah. sometimes there was a hole I mean it's not just the running back it's the rest of the process and uh oh god i'm just gonna say i'm not gonna go into maybe minnesota wasn't so good on defense i'm just gonna give props to our maryland terrapins we come away a winner uh yeah the show tomorrow the 9 a.m show the uh, sportsman was taped today so it's not going to be covered but i'm going to tell you we're gonna have one heck of a turf uh, talk. talk show on wednesday ohio state is coming in next week um Hey, who knows what happens? You know, aren't we at Penn State next week? Or oh, something? I'm sorry. You're right. We're at Penn, Penn State, State next and week. Ohio State. Comes right. Out. And, uh, wow, Wayne, I have to tell you, I don't even know what to say, but this is one of the most enjoyable post games we've done, and we're not there. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's about uh, right. doing, It's about the whole Terrapin Nation, and it was special. We will see you on the radio, 1300 CBS Sports Radio. And you have a post game show for the Ravens on the other channel correct on monday on wnst we'll definitely talk a little bit about maryland and uh uh but we got a steelers game on sunday which is pretty important around here but this one this one for the hardcore maryland fans feels so good it's unbelievable it's gonna be an all-timer we will see you on the radio good okay. evening